Hi guys, Akika here. Uh, this video is the most random video you've probably seen on my channel. It's just me rambling about different things. Kind of like an appreciation post for Bad Body, the series, and just a lot of a lot of things, a lot of mess. So yeah, enjoy! Hi! So today, this video is like... I don't even know what this video is. It wasn't planned. I was just gonna get ready for the day. But then I was like... Let me talk about yesterday, because yesterday was the final episode of Bad Buddy and I've been watching it since it started. And let me tell you something, when I saw the trailer from episode 11, my heart dropped. I literally thought like they were going to break up, I thought it was going to be a sad ending somehow, even though I understood it. But the ending they gave us, I feel like that was the best option. So I'm literally, I think this is more of an appreciation post, because yeah i've had no script i have not in plan i'm just yeah like i really enjoyed the series to be honest i really did enjoy the series and the delivery nanon and om did it was amazing like i was i'd always followed uh, om's work and i knew he was a great actor but nanon he he surprised me like he was amazing and I saw some clips from um, interviews and stuff they did and the fact that he immersed himself so fully into the character I really loved it to be honest, I really loved it um, yeah, talking about the series itself what I loved was the fact that there was just the right amount of uh, playfulness the right amount of serious topic, it was just well balanced and the way they went about portraying them was really good because usually in a lot of BLs as BL fans we all know there's a lot of cliches there are a lot of topics which are a little bit um, controversial like consent and stuff tend to be a big issue within BL dramas but this was just so amazing I like, I've been telling all my friends, telling everyone um, I've encountered over the past 12 weeks about how good the series, about how good Nanon is at acting and to be honest, I don't even know how much, how much more I can say or what I can say to just express just how much I appreciate him how much I appreciate his acting because it was just amazing and the director, he, he did a great job. I believe it's the same director that did the Together series, that did Bad Body. And I know he has like a reaction channel, which I sometimes watch. And he has, he, he, rea he reacted to his work with his friends, which I also believe they're directors. And to be honest, he, he did an amazing job. He is the sweetest guy. Just by clips, just by what I've seen and yeah like this is literally like a random appreciation first because i'm literally rambling i have no script i have nothing prepared i'm just trying to get ready for the day and i was like i'm gonna make a little video while i get ready telling everyone just how much the series was amazing like if you guys haven't checked the series you should watch bad buddy it's amazing you're gonna love it i feel like even if you're not a bl fan you can totally enjoy this series seriously like it's just it's something else it's so good and even the supporting cast even i, I know the actor who was playing Y. I know this is his first time acting it and like I think there was like, I um, can't remember the episode, but there was an episode where him, um, uh, Pat and Pran had like a, not really an altercation, but it was a moment, which was, it was the, it was the, the scene outside the dorm, and it was so emotional, and apparently he struggled, because I remember when I watched the, di the director's reaction, he was talking about how much he struggled at first with the reaction. Uh, immersing himself really into the role because that was such a different thing from what he's used to he's in the medical field he's a medical student shout out to medical students we in the gang yeah 
and this was just like a new experience to him and that was amazing like not gonna lie he made me wanna like when I heard about it he made me wanna try acting cause I was like oh is, are we so stiff as medical nurses and stuff like are we that stiff that is so hard to get into character or is it just like his personality like a him what am I doing with this makeup anyways but yeah it was just so good I feel like the fact that for the people who do know about the storyline the fact that at the end even though the parents did not like openly speak up and and come out and say oh yeah I accept you guys or yeah I'm gonna squash the beef well it wasn't really a misunderstanding because Pat's dad did hurt Fran's mom so and he never apologized for me but the fact that it was just by their actions that they were able to accept the kids relationship in a way without like because they were still sneaking around this stuff and I know they were publicly broken up but yeah that was that was just amazing I really have nothing more to say than a uh, well job to the cast well job to all the actors no no my son he did such a good job like I cannot stop praising him on to they just they just outdid themselves like I'm really looking forward to the future project I'm actually watching the series 5515 which Nanon is staring in as well and let me tell you he is such a good actor the fact that he's playing I like I believed him when he was saying that he's a 55 year old man in the body of a 15 year old I, I believed it it was that good Literally, this is just like an appreciation post, a random appreciation post, because I don't even have my microphone on, so I don't even know if the audio is alright, the lighting is off, everything is just, it's just a mess, but I have to come here and just quickly sell my two coins, because last night I watched the last episode and I was happy. The whole time I was watching this series, I was really happy and I'm really satisfied with the end because most times the ending of the series is what messes up the whole thing. Like, I've seen some great series, but then the ending was just crap. I love how they ended it in like a playful uh, mode. Almost like they were arguing, but they were not because, like, that's kind of how it all started them fighting and I just I just loved it yeah I, I did not plan anything so yeah I just loved it I'm just gonna finish up my makeup really quickly because I'm not even going anywhere I just did it because I need to go collect the parcel from downstairs because we're in the studio flat but yeah so well actually if I remember anything I'm gonna say more I'm just gonna add it as I finish my makeup, I'm gonna keep the camera on just because. Well, yeah, guys. I remember what I wanted to say also. Like, there's so many series, BL series coming out this year, and I'm loving it. As a BL fan, like, I haven't met in real person another fan who enjoys watching BL. It's just online so uh, sometimes it does get like you have no one to talk about how much you enjoy the series and one series I'm really looking forward to I've been waiting a long time is the Keen Porsche that's not it's not part of GMM TV it's another what was it it's another production team but oh my gosh I hope because I know they have to change the script for that one as well because it got so hyped because when we saw the trailer not gonna lie when i clicked on it i wasn't expecting anything i still remember the first time i watched the trailer but then as i was watching the trailer i was screaming i was loving the whole mafia series the whole action and speaking about action gmm's tv um series not me i started watching it i'm not reacting on their channel because i wanted to enjoy it myself because i've gone I just I'm just needed my own time so I can scream in my bed while watching it. It's so good. Like so far, 
is so good. I love the way he portrayed himself. No, the way he portrayed both twins, white and black. Like, it's so believable. The scenes where he shot. I don't know. They're just so, just, just such great actors. Like, I'm even... Bro, literally. I feel like German TV's casting, they do such a good job of picking up people like i haven't even complained even with the series the f4 series that i am reacting to the channel uh i think his real name is you i believe like the guy playing ren he's his first time acting but he's doing such a great job like everyone everyone just it's just amazing i believe mj as well is his first, the the person playing right mj is his first time also reacting the acting what is the first time acting but everyone does such a good job like i know uh from the together series win that was his first official series like playing as a character and look at where he is now he's he did such a great job when i was watching that i think it was during the pandemic a couple years ago but well it's still the pandemic but i remember watching it and i was just like it was the best thing that was out there at the time oh my gosh i love it like that's one of the series i recommend to people it's a little bit more shall i say not really cliche but lovey dovey type of deal and like i think it depends not everyone might find the the humor like really entertaining like oh oh can i grab your tits type of things uh, or uh, it's, it's I'll kiss you till your till you drop like those type of lines not everyone will like them but I thought that it made the it made the show funnier it was just like oh my god that's so cringe I can't believe it he said it aloud it was so nice literally what the what the heck am I doing with this eye I don't know what I'm doing here literally I should have I shouldn't have just what the heck I think I should have just done my makeup first and come out and start speaking because it's not giving what it's supposed to give. <laughs> yeah, so what else do I want to talk about? This is so odd because I haven't done like, I guess if this is like a get ready with me, I don't know, but like talk, a proper talk video because I'm the type who, I literally, the way I talk is I may be talking about something now but then I'll jump to the next one and then come back to it and then go all the way around so and I'm not even the type who likes to spend time doing scripts and stuff I can't be bothered so I don't know this video is a mess but if, if you're watching if you're still here by now thank you for sticking out because I don't know girl I don't make any sense sometimes bro I need to end it what the heck is this you you but yeah guys if you guys want me to make more random videos like that like that like this just comment in the comment section just let me know like if you just want to see a bit of my random personality just do it you know and I'll come through like I was thinking like I've got like the most odd experiences like to making story times but I don't know because like I said I don't like making scripts so I don't know how my storytelling is gonna be if it's gonna be all over the place or not if anyone's gonna want to watch it or if anyone will find it interesting but like if you guys think I should give it a shot maybe I should do one first and post it but I'll put the camera the microphone on for that one I'll, I'll come a little bit more prepared and dressed up just let me know like I'm not sure the thing is as well I have no time I feel like everyone who is in the medical field who's still studying finds it hard to balance like personal time with study time and other stuff like because I do want to do more content and spend more time and doing proper editing and stuff but I just can't so it feels like I'm just rushing it 
but then if I don't do it I won't I won't do it at all so I just do it just to do it I don't know it's, it's weird because and I don't even have summers because summers is placement so I'm walking at the I'm walking at the hospital basically all summer I don't have no time I've literally got two years left well this year and the next and then I'm done then I have to do the uh, licensing licensing exam to practice this dash is crazy Is it looking a little bit decent? Is it better? I don't know. Can you even see it? Mm. It's okay. It's okay. I'll fix it. It would look decent by the end of this video. What else did I want to mention? Oh my gosh. This has been rolling for almost 20 minutes. I'm gonna have to cut it down. Um. Oh! Have you guys... If you guys are into like... Korean shows and stuff. Have you guys watched? Was it Singles Inferno? Because I've heard about it, and apparently some people were saying there's some controversy going on with the cast. And I was like, I just saw some clip, and I was like, I'm not watching. <laughs> it felt so cringy. Like I don't know. I saw a scene where apparently he's like 30 years old. The guy with the curly wavy. After I think he got a perm. But he, he stopped in front of the first girl and he was like, thank you. And then he moved on to the other girl. I think her name is Gia, which already had two guys on it. I felt that was disrespectful, man. That was disrespectful. I felt, I was mad for her. I didn't even know the cast. I didn't even watch the show. And I was like, you did not just do it. That was so crazy, man. That was the weirdest thing. We this thing ever. I just don't know why he was so smart. Because she she did not choose him, I believe. Based the clip I watched, she picked I don't know, she called him Poppy. I don't know what his name is. I was like, I was like, he's not cute enough for you to publicly call him Poppy, but whatever. Yeah. Like Random conversation. I really miss Haiti's. I want to go see them in person, but they're not coming anymore to the UK. I think it was cancelled. Well, not cancelled, postponed, but it's freaking coronavirus, man. I haven't been to a concert in two years. The last concert I was in was the BTS concert in London. And my phone is ringing. I'll be back. So that was my mom. So yeah, after that I was what I was saying. Oh yeah, the last the last time I went to concert it was the Love Yourself? Speak Yourself. It was Love Yourself, yeah. The last one in London. Yeah. I went to day one and day one was late. Some people say day two was was more later, but is that even a word? Like some people say day two was more fun but personally I think day one was the best because we just enjoyed ourselves. Day two was a bit more emotional because they were going and stuff but in terms of just vibe and just party let's just have a great time. Day one it was mad especially because the first song they sang was the uh, was Dionysus and, and it just started with the bag and the funny thing is like because we entered the venue like two three hours I think we entered the venue at like three and the concert was set to start at seven if I remember correctly I'm gonna be wrong slightly off with the time so and all the time we were in the arena before we were already singing because of the screen uh, the all the music video playing so our voices uh, literally I literally lost my voice after the concert for like a whole six months that's how much I was screaming I actually have clips of the concert 
if you guys want me to make like a small uh, compilation, uh, memories compilation and post it, just just comment and and I'll do it because it was it was amazing and you can hear me. <laughs> I sounded like a dying animal, bro. By the end of the concert, it was crazy. It was crazy. I loved it so much. Like it was mad. What is? So yeah, I really want to go to a concert. I want to go to keep up concert. I want to see Jay Park. Oh, wh weren't they coming this January? No, I think no, it wasn't him. It was like CK and some others were coming this January, but it was like it's it's not the time for me to be going out with all the like work I have and like I'm doing I'm doing some placements at the moment as well like I don't know there's a lot going on in terms of scholastically so and you all wouldn't have time and my timetable right now is a mess it's full every day like apart from the weekends so I knew I think it was a weekday so I knew I wouldn't be able to make it because I'd have to travel back uh, all the way to London and I'm I'm studying in another city right now yeah, I came back and transferred from Europe. Came back here. Just to leave. But yeah. I might look in a little bit better. You know what? I don't I don't care. I'm not even gonna contour properly anyway. I'll just put some blusher with some highlighter, put eyeliner, and that's it, I'm done. I can't be bothered to spend more time on this. I'm literally going nowhere. I'm just going downstairs. And even if anyone sees me, who cares? Like everyone in this complex has averages, so I'm not worried. I'm using cream blushes. I usually like to set my cream blushes with either a loose powder or like a powder blush but I know it's gonna melt later on but I just I'm just gonna leave it like that because it can be bothered. I know my daily look I usually because I have freckles but they usually come up more in summer and they're usually like tiny around this area but I like I like the, f the effect of the fake ones so I usually draw those but I don't even know if I have time to do that I have time, I just can't be bothered I need to have breakfast I literally woke up out of the shower, dressed up and decided you know what, I'm gonna put some makeup and I'm gonna make like a mini appreciation video slash talking about anything that comes to my mind and this is taking longer than expected like I thought it was going to be like an 8 minute video but I, I don't know how much I'm going to edit it down but yeah yeah so uh, my camera is about to die so I'm just going to hurry up and then make an outro and then I'll be back okay guys so I'm kind of finally done with my makeup somehow I don't know it's just it's, it's, it's not giving what it's supposed to give but uh, yeah if you were able to stick with me Still we are, thank you so much for watching and seeing me ramble about random things. So yeah, ignore what you see on the bed, it's, it's, it's a mess. But yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Oh, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, just let me know in the comments and I'll, and I'll just pop on the camera randomly and just speak with you and talk with you. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, share and I'll see you in the next one.